Okay, so for number five, we're determining whether these are true or false. And basically, um, these exercises have to do with the difference between a subset and an element, or a set and an element. So we're going to first have to talk about that difference. Um, so A, B, so anything capital letters are sets. So we're going to say let A and B be sets, are sets. And X is an element. So a subset, so A is a subset of B, if and only if, for all the elements, because remember X is an element. So for all the elements in A, uh, for all X belonging to A, X belongs to B. So we're saying, hey, A is a subset of B if every element in A is an element in B, right? Um, and so from here, I think that we can begin to discuss this. So for A, we're saying, is the empty set an element of this other set? And that means, is it contained in that list, right? Because if I have that A, X is an element of A, if and only if, we can find X in the list of elements. So we can find the empty set in this list here. It does exist. So because it does exist, that is true. Now for item B, um, is the empty set a subset of this? And that is true because the empty set is a subset of every set. So that's true. And um, even though this may seem a little bit unintuitive, the way that we can think about it is okay. Um, this would only be false if there were some element here in the first one that is not inside the second one. That would be the only case where it's true. But the empty set has no set, has no element. So there's no way for it to be false. Um, so that one is true. For C, we're saying the set containing the empty set uh, belongs to this other thing. So let's see. Can we find this guy? Can we find it? Actually, maybe I'm going to highlight it. Can we find this one in the list? And yes, we can, because it's right here, right? So because we can find it, that's going to be true. It is an element. For D, we're saying, is this a subset of the other one? And remember, for it to be a subset, every element in the first one has to be in the second one. So the first one only has one element. It's this guy. And we can find it in the list here. Because we can find it, that's going to be true. Okay. For E, is the set of the set of the empty set an element? Well, that would only be true if we can find exactly this, because it is an element, if we can find exactly that in the list inside here. But we can't, right? Because every single um, element in this list is not the same thing. So that's going to be false, because we can't find it inside. Um, for F, we're saying, is this a subset? So we're going to look inside the set. So if we look inside the set, we'll only get these two, right? We'll leave the outer print, um, the outer uh, brackets because we are just looking inside. And then we're saying, hey, does it have anything in common? And actually it does have, right? Because it, we can see that it is right here. So every single thing in the first set is in the second set. So that is true. It does fit the criteria for subset. Um, what about G? For every set A, the empty set belongs in A. And that's not true, because if that were true, it would mean that A would be the empty set, and then one, two, or whatever the set, whatever set it was. But the empty set is not contained in every single set. Um, so that one is going to be false. For H, it says for every set A, um, the empty set, the set containing the empty set is a subset of A. And that would only be true if this set here that has this element, and this element is contained in every A. And just like we saw in item G, that's not true, because the empty set is not an element of every set. It's only a subset. So that's going to be false. Um, for item I, let's see if the first set is a subset. So we have to look for every single element. So let's look at this one. Can we find this element in the second one? And no, we can't. You might look at this and say, okay, yeah, you can find it, but that's not true because 
This is not an element that's by itself. It's inside a different set. It's inside this whole set here. So we don't have the empty set by itself, right? So it's not... Um, you do have an element in the first one that's not contained in the second set. So because it's not contained, that one is going to be false, right? The only thing in the second set, it only has one single element, and that's this guy right here. Okay. For item J, um, we have to see if the set containing one, two is an element. So if it is an element, can we find this, an exact copy of it in this list? And we cannot because there is no set containing one, two inside here. There are only the elements one and the element two, which is not the same thing. So one, two is not the same thing as one, two, right? Those are totally different things. So because you can't find it, that's going to be false. Um, for the last one, is this a subset? Well, we have to, not the last one, I guess the second to last one. Well, let's look for it. Um, one, I can find it here. Two, I can find it here. And three, I can find it here. So every single element in the first one is in the second one. And so because every single element is contained, that is true. This is, in fact, a subset. And for the last one, let's see if it is a subset. So we're going to look inside the elements. And this is the element contained in the first set. So let's see if we can find it. And yes, we can. We can find it right here. So this one is going to be true because the set containing the set four is in fact a subset since it has the same elements. And so that is it for item five.